remains in the Quran of Allah. Many less met Hassan, 99. And not once does he say that I am the God of Israel. I mean, like the Bible he does. said, worship with this name. Not once does he say I am the God of Abraham, less than the God of Isaac or the God of Jacob. God of Israel, look, why would God say to whole humanity, I'm the God of Israel? Is he not the God of the Chinese? And the God of the Indonesians? And the God of the Burmese? And the God of the Pakistanis? And the God of the British? Is he not? But who do the British? Yeah. In the Quran, it's important. You, you Muslims believe that you worship the same God. You worship Yahweh. Let me so, uh, clarify with you. Is the God of Israel God of other nations? He's the God of all humanity. Right, so it is not crucial to understand that God has to say, I am the God of the Arabs, is it? No, but the scripture tells us. Even in the scripture? The scripture tells us. You know why he says that? He describes himself as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the Quran does and describe the God of that Allah is the God of Abraham and Yahoo and the And, and, and then right. numerous of times he refers to himself as the God of Israel. Not once in the Quran that name is given. Of course, he's the God of all of those prophets. That's right. He's the one who sent all these prophets. And he's the God of them. Yeah. But do you believe that you, you, you worship in the God of Abraham? Absolutely. The God of of you are? There is only okay, one. Is but is just one second. Second. But there is only one God. And that God is the God of Abraham and Jacob uh, and David and Solomon and Isaac. When we told Bani Israel and, 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 and Muhammad. Okay. 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 So 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 we're going to go back. When I came in, you were talking to that bloke with the hat. And he's talking about father. Yeah? In the Torah, God refers to himself, Yahweh, as a father, a father to Israel. But in the Quran, Allah cannot be a father. So what cannot be a father? Allah does not describe himself as a father. As a father. Precisely in my understanding, in my yeah. humble understanding, yeah. the errors that have crept in by using these terminologies. When God is understood in Christian tradition, you can't say for example, so of course, no, okay, can't. is in a Christian understanding of God, God is a father and has a son? That's right. Yeah, in the Christian. There you go. Precisely my point. Yeah. <laughs> People have misunderstood the father term for God and they have introduced God having a son because he's a father. Yeah. And the son is not really... We have not, only, God, not, not, only, not only a son in a figurative sense, he's also a mom. God. We have to go by what scripture reveals. We have to go by what the Torah reveals and the Indu. Agree? Can I ask you just one simple question? Yeah. According to Jesus Christ himself, who is the only true God? His Father. Right. And who is he, Jesus? No, he's the Son. Okay. Jesus is God, the Father's Son, but we're not going to go down that path. Oh, we were talking about the God of Israel. We need to understand the God of Israel. Okay. Yeah. The God of Abraham. Yeah. So and now we're talking about the Injil. No, no, no. We're talking about, about, talk about both books. Okay. So in the, in the Gospels, yeah. Jesus Christ says that there is a one and only true God. Okay. Is that a piece of and he identifies that with himself, so, okay, right? So, just swap pieces. So with I can himself? get a bit angry. Okay. You, are you talking about John chapter 17, verse 3. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 okay, no, no, he goes on to say that they may know you, Father, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you say. So what is it? Left hand is higher. So I can't hold it with you. Yeah, I know. There, look, look. On the back. Look, look, look. 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 Look, look, you so, this is a quick question. Oh, yeah, you hold it. Alhamdulillah. Who is the only true from? God? Algeria. According to Christ. Algeria, mashallah. Okay. Okay. At that, when Jesus first time, was first time. I'm, I'm born here, but I'm really the way to the Father. Yeah, Musa, alhamdulillah. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father but by me. Okay? Then he says, that they may know you, Father, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you sent. Right. So who is doing the sending? The one true God or someone else? Uh, we were talking about the God of Abraham. We are. Yeah. We need to understand what Christ's understanding is of that God of Abraham. Then he finishes that chapter off. Before you go to finish, we need to focus on this verse. Exactly. Yeah. Always, I find okay. in my experience, okay. no, no, no. whenever we read this verse, okay. with all this respect, people, people just go to somewhere else without focusing on this very exactly. verse. Exactly. According to Christ's own understanding, He's been sent by who? He's sent by the Father. Who is? 
the only true God. God. Yeah. Right. So, if Jesus Christ identifies that there is only one true God, and that is not Him, no, but no, He's no. the one. Okay. Listen. You say that we should study in context. Right? Context means okay, in the read, book, you use in the book of John. Let's uh, use the whole book of you, John. You didn't understand something. Yeah. The Christian understanding of context is you get rid of the verse, the text verse, and you talk about everything. We want to talk about John, but then I like to come back to but, our original but do you, subject. Do you, do you right? see, in my experience, yeah, yeah. limited experience, this because yeah. for the last nineteen or twenty years, maybe or more, mm -hmm. what I see is when the Christians talk about the context, they do not talk about the text in question and talk about the whole context besides that. That's not how you understand. You use in the book and of that's John. not how you that please. This is not how you do exegesis. Exegesis of a text is you deal with the text, try to understand what it okay. means. Then I'm gonna use that Can same argument back to you then. Of course, of course. Oh. So you look at you look at what the text is. Okay. So we're gonna use Can I make my point first? Can I make my point? Please, Monsieur, are we? Can we finish my point first okay. and fix your point? Just sure. So, the way you should do exegesis or explanations or commentaries or, or any understanding of any scripture, look at the text in question. See what it says. Is it literal or is it non-literal, meaning figurative or metaphorical? If it's literal, it says God is one. Do I need to go find out 20 other verses? What does it mean God is one? Does it mean God is two? No. So, you look at we have to look Patience. at all of Scripture. Please, 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 please listen. Patience. You look at the text. Well, brothers and sisters, time. we're getting a new mic Whether soon, so audio should be improved next week, inshallah. If it's not clear, you have to look for other verses. No, you have to look at all of Scripture. Look, if God, okay, let me the give you an example. The of okay. God one, one that cannot consist in one part of one, one Scripture. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me one moment. If God says, "I am one God," not two. Not compounded, not composed, there is none else besides me. I alone am God and there is none else. Do you think you need another verse or verses to explain that? No. Then God goes on to alone. say, Do you don't understand my point? Question. He explains he just, himself, reveals himself. You don't understand my point? Question. Okay. If you never read the Bible, never read the Quran, and you are given this text. Listen. Was that text God, clear enough? God Excuse me, please. Start to Egypt. reveal himself in Genesis. You do not understand then my in question. Then in the Sorry, Genesis. I mean, the Torah, I mean, you don't understand the my Bible. question. Your question is. Is he relevant? Is your, is, your, is, your, is, your, is your question that if God says somewhere in the Bible, for example, or the Quran, that I'm one God, yeah. that's a clear that's No, I didn't say that. Go if you, if you were Just to clarify, yeah. I know yeah, you're yeah. recording. You're yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go. If God said, I am one God, yes. and not compounded, not uh -huh, composed, mashallah. and there's none else besides me, that's I nice. alone am God and there's none else. Yes. And you have not read the Bible or the Nothing Quran or any book. Yes. That text was presented to you. Yes. Do you need other verses or other texts to explain to you what that means? In that case, then no. no. In that no. case, then no. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's just it's, it's clear Jesus enough. Came, that was the word. You didn't understand that. Was that. The scripture. I'm not talking about the Bible or the Quran. I'm, I'm saying I'm a text, a text, right? This. A particular statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That statement doesn't need a qualifying. Statement, I think that's clear enough. Supporting really? statement. Okay. You know something? Or is it Muhkam, clear cut? Is it yes, unambiguous? Can I ask you a question? Okay, okay. About the Torah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Before you ask me the question, yeah, well, would you kindly answer that? I don't know would, how to answer would that. Would you kindly answer that? Okay, if you ask me, I will say it is quite clear. I don't need other verses to support my understanding. Yeah. It is absolutely clear, clear black and white, crystal clear. clear. Yes, crystal clear. So I would understand what it means here. If you think God said that in the Old Testament like that, and which he did, he said, I alone am God, is not no one else. Before me there was no God form. After me there's no God form. 
crystal clear that God is one I'm not here being. To, I'm not here to debate the Trinity. Because that's going to go I'm not on talking on about on. Trinity. No, no, no. You, you were saying, saying to about use, God of Abraham. You were saying to use the whole yeah, well, so, context. And what he was trying to say was, sorry, I'll just, I'll just, if you don't mind. What he was saying was, you said to use the context. This is how it came up. And then he said, if it's we clear cut in one section. I understand. Is I understand. Is he say, Allah and Yahweh the same. Actually, in the Quran, he does mention that I spoke to Benny Israel. So that would be the case. But the fact of the matter is, what he was saying about context is, if it says it clearly in one place, then that should suffice. I mean, that's understandable in any book. That's true. Any book. And if it was any different, actually, that would be a contradiction. Sure. So if you had one statement like that, okay, and another have... statement said, oh, God has a son, and he has a wife, and he has two brothers, would you consider these two statements are reconciliatory? Can we talk about... Can Obviously we talk... not. Can we talk about the Quran now? No. But Jesus in the Quran is mentioned as a prophet, yes, a messiah, yes, yes, and the word of Allah. No, 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 no. Okay. He is mentioned as وَكَلِمَتُهُ أَلْقَاهَا إِلَى Maryam that he, Allah, sent a word, a word from him that he sent to Maryam, Alqaha ila Maryam, gave to Maryam. Now Alqaha is like when you say you're sending down. So a word from him that he sent Alqaha ila Maryam. Waruhum minhu, and a spirit from him. It doesn't mean he's the Holy Spirit. Do you think Quran says he's the Holy Spirit? Okay, but that word then became flesh. Does it say that no, in the Quran? No. The Quran doesn't say such Jesus, a thing at all. Was he, was he a prophet? No, no, does it say what? that? Are you say that? to know him? I just asked you a question and you told me. Okay, brother. Let no, me, no, no, no. If you're addressing me, that's not a problem. What do you want me to do? I'll address you, but don't talk to me. The Quran doesn't say the word became flesh. No, it doesn't. But, but, the word of Allah. Don't talk to me. <laughs> a word from him, yeah, a not word, word of from Allah. Allah. Huh? A word from Allah. Look, look, Jesus, Allah, the word of Allah. That's what your Quran says. You again misrepresenting the Quran. The Quran says, Listen, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> when Allah wants to create, either or other. Shay'an. He says, kun kun. Kun kun. He So he speak. says, be and he is. And he so the word, why? Why? Can I finish my point? Can I finish my point? Can I? Can I, can I, can I can yeah? yeah, and then you can ask the question. Can you, can you not go into the Arabic? I'm going to have to go to some. Then we talk again another time. Go now and take a breath. That's it. Let me finish this. Then if you want to finish it, let me finish my point. So when the Quran says, when Allah wants to, Create something. <laughs> he does it by his word. He does it by his word. Yeah. He says, Kun Fayakun. Right? Kun Fayakun. He and it is. I mean, I, so we as Christians, I we, we believe in Jesus as the Do you word. realize? I haven't even finished my point. So, Allah says in the Quran. What the similitude, the parable, the example of Isa Islam, in the Mathal Isa, in the Allah, with Allah, Kamathal Adam, like Adam, Falakahu min Turab, created from the dust, the soil, the earth. Why are we going to We're talking about Jesus. No, we're talking about the word. The word. And then said, be and it is. When Maryam was visited by the angel, Allah sent Mary, an angel with a glad tidings and good news. And that good news would be to say, be kun. And he will be in reality. Like when Allah says kun, but, and there was. But there specifically it says that Jesus. The word from Allah. The word from Allah. Doesn't mm. say that about Muhammad or about any other prophets. But about Jesus. And in Jesus, the word of Allah becomes a man. You misunderstood. Right? Let me clarify. Right? No, you need to understand you, what exactly what you But you misunderstood. That needs clarification. Let me tell you what's what misunderstood. 
Allah did not need to create so the word of Allah. Muhammad, are you going to, are you you going to let me explain to you, Mr. Stanley? When Allah Allah created Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he had both parents. There wasn't, in my humble understanding, another kun necessary. Even the kun is an ultimate word that is created everywhere, right? Came through natural processes from the mother and father of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When it came, when it was with Maryam alayhi with Mary, there wasn't a physical person. No, she was a virgin. Yeah, we know that. We there wasn't a physical that. person. So Allah sent a word from him to create Isa alayhi salam. Create Isa with his word. And that's why he's mentioned specifically with his word. Specifically, like when Allah created Adam alayhi salam. Specifically with his word. Allah says, ثُمَّ قَالَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُنْ now when Allah said Kun, the word is used from Allah to create Adam al Islam. Does, does it make Adam Does it make Adam divine or God? No. When Allah said from his word, Adam be created from the dust. But when Allah created Adam and he used his word from him to animate him. But the Bible, to animate him. But the Bible and the Quran, not that I believe in the Quran, right? Both specifically put an emphasis on Jesus being a, the Word of God. You are going to be some sort of Word of God. Right? I am saying and both of them. It is a the Word. Quran says, from Jesus, him. the Word of Allah from Him, and the Spirit from Him. Does He say that about Muhammad or any other prophet? I just explained to you why not. I just gave but you why, the reason. Why about Jesus? I just told you. Why? I just told you, when Allah was to create, okay, now you tell me how otherwise. So Allah is going to tell you the word of Allah and he does become a man. One second. So Allah wants, to, Allah wants to create Isa Islam in the womb of Mary. So are you saying Allah shouldn't say kun, shouldn't say be and he is? The Quran could have said Allah um, commanded a a, hero, a, a baby in Mary's womb. But it's not the command of a baby. Right? What does so it, it mean? Says, but it specifically puts an emphasis. Explain. What does it mean? Allah commanded a baby. It specifically indicates, puts an emphasis on Jesus, the word from Allah. The because word it is from the Allah. word that was used to Allah. create him. And then and that word became the a man. Now listen. It is the word that was used to create him. When Allah used the word to create the heavens and the earth in the Bible, in your Bible, yeah. does that make the heavens and the earth God? What? Can you answer that first? No, no, hold on. Every, the Bible Excuse me. Recalls, when Jesus has the word of God. Please, please. And said, when God said, let there be light and there was I'm light. Is the light God? Okay, that word was Jesus according to the Bible. Everything was made by earth uh, through him and for him. Whichever word, so the word is of, used. The word of Yahweh is Jesus. So is Jesus mentioned in the Bible that he's God? Yeah. So when God uses his word to create, whatever is created is not a God. He's not in the subject that he's talking about. He's talking in the subject that he's talking about. And he says that Jesus is the word. You have misunderstood. That's not making any sense. I'm not going to get into the classroom interpretation. My question is this. Whatever God creates through his word, things that he creates is that God. Okay. Like, let's go again. Is the word of God? Is that part of God or not? Is the word the question, of God? We will come back to that after uh, prayer meeting, inshallah. My question to you now my is My question to you is the word of God, God, God Himself? No, it's not. No, of course not. Okay. Is so the knowledge your, of God God? Your word, is the love of God God? Is the mercy of God God? Your word, is the forgiveness of God God? Your I'm word. Asking any question. Can your word. Is it you or not? Your no, word. No, it's not you. It's not me. But absolutely not. You, it's, your word is not you. Absolutely not. It's not. So what is it? So let Where me ask. Where does it come from? Where does it come from? Wait, wait a moment. Is the love of God God? The love of God is an attribute. Excuse me. Answer the question as with yes, it is. No, it is not. I don't know. Maybe I don't care. Five options. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Five options. The options are before I give you the question, these are the answers, potential answers. Yes, it is. No, it is not. I don't know. 
I don't care. Maybe. Is the love of God God? Okay. Our Bible tells us that God is love. Excuse me. Our Bible. I only gave you five options. You I can't have. You gave me. I don't have to answer by your five options. Then the discussion is over. Thank you. Thank you. I dare you, if you're a man or a woman, to do what I'm about to suggest. Islamnet is a Muslim organization establishing a masjid in the capital of Norway. The property, alhamdulillah, has now been purchased. And now we need to reconstruct it into a fully functioning masjid and community center. To be part of building a masjid is one of the best deeds a Muslim can do. The Prophet wasallam stated, whoever builds a mosque for Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Quran, believe in Allah and his messenger and donate from what he has entrusted you with. So those who have believed and donate will have a mighty reward. But what is this mighty reward that your donation inshallah will bring you? Well, much more than you initially gave. Your good deed will be multiplied by 700, up to 700 times when you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who will forgive your sins inshallah. And all the ajr that is happening in the masjid, all the prayers that are happening, the ruku'ah and the sujood and the dua and the charity and the ta'aleem and the learning, all of those things, you insha'Allah will get, you get a copy of those good deeds insha'Allah ta'ala and the pleasure of your Lord and an eternal home in Jannah, Allahu Akbar. And that is indeed a mighty reward. Don't miss out on this rare opportunity. Click the link and donate and earn the rewards promised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't forget to share the video, barakallahu feekum, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.